I said it's only money. Oh, he ain't got it. He ain't got it. We done heard his time. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. I'm Treasure Wilson, aka Stat Baby, along with your host, Cam and Mace. What's up, baby? Let's go. What's good? Yeah. Okay, let's go. So yeah. we are entering the East versus West Conference Finals. Mm -hmm. This is the same rematch at the NBA bubble back in 2020. Who do you got? You ain't a lot of jewelry. You got chains on and shit underneath your shit. Yo, you're in a lot of jewelry lately. This, let me know if this is what we doing. If this is what we, this is what we doing, let me know if this is what we You know I can switch up. I can switch up. Just let me. Don't, don't, don't bombard me with jewelry boards. It's all I'll good. I'll button my shirt off. <laughs> Who I got? Um, This isn't the bubble. This is definitely not the, bubble. not the bubble. This is not the bubble. What I will say is this. A lot of people, including you, put... Including the, me. Yeah. You put an asterisk next to the bubble championship. Yeah, definitely. You, you, don't, you don't count it as, as a... He doesn't count it as a real mm, championship. Yeah. Me, I count it as a real <laughs> championship because to me... It's no outside. It's straight AAU. It's basketball. Yeah. It's no excuse. Locked Yo, the up. fan ain't do this. The crowd ain't cheering. But they did do COVID. They said if you had COVID, then you couldn't play. Remember, so it was excuses. But who who had COVID? You could. Everybody was in the bubble. Only nigga snuck out was Lemon Pepper Lou. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, and Kyrie didn't come. Yeah, but Kyrie, but Brooklyn wasn't in it. Kyrie yeah. was trying to get niggas not to do it at all. Kyrie yeah. was like. Fuck the whole bubble. He wasn't even invited <laughs> to the bubble. He's like, fuck the whole bubble. Yeah. But I do count that championship because I think that's purely basketball. There's no excuses, mm -hmm. no crowd. Even though crowd, that's part of the NBA too, arguing yeah. with the fans, making noise when you shoot foul shots. But I, I put that as a real championship solely because it's basketball. Mm. To get back to 2023, I think that this is a totally different yeah. Laker team. This is a different I mean, that, team. pardon me, absolutely. Totally different Nugget team. I think what Anthony Davis was doing to the Joker is not going to be as easy as he was doing to the Joker pause in the bubble. That shit that I seen the other day that me and Mace re referenced about last episode. Yeah. This is a different type of nigga. Not only that, mm -hmm. he has two league MVPs since then. Could have potentially got the MVP this year, but sat out like the last eight games. So you have a potential three-time in a row MVP, yeah. guaranteed two-time MVP. Jamal Murray... He hadn't played since the bubble to this year. Yeah. Like I said, I hate to Murray keep... Murray was looking crazy. Like I said, I, keep, keep, I hate to keep alluding to the last episode, but that shit me and Murder scene on the floor was some wild shit. Yeah. Jamal Murray's different. The key piece to me, I think, in a Nuggets victory is Pope. Pope Jr. Yeah. He got a vendetta. Yeah. Niggas said niggas ain't want me. Yeah. Niggas ain't want yeah, me. Yeah, this is gonna be serious. <laughs> yeah, niggas ain't he want. He gonna me. show up against the Lakers. Nah, he gonna show he up. He got to. That's nah, a, cause niggas didn't want him. That's the team that let him go. Who's gonna win in the West? Right now, I'm still in the West. That's tough. LeBron wanted bad. Yeah, he does. LeBron wants it bad. I can see it. I can see when Anthony mm -hmm. Davis get hurt, he start making up this nigga here, <laughs> yeah. fucking hurt again. God damn. I got to do this dolo and he don't complain. The nigga was in a wheelchair. Do you remember that? Yeah, yo, the nigga was. Yo, what is he doing? <laughs> Who is in a wheelchair? <laughs> yo, boxes get knocked yeah. out and don't go out and, in the wheelchair. And got to get carried walking out. Yeah, come on, man. So When I saw that, I said, come on now. Listen. Just, I got, this is tough because I don't want to go against LeBron because I know what kind of mission he on. LeBron, listen. Cam, bro, you tried that last time. What'd I try? You tried to go with who you think you should go with. No, I don't give a What's your I, heart say? I don't, my heart say Denver, but at the same time, my heart say Denver, but yeah. you got to think about a nigga LeBron Monster because he knows he won this championship. You won away from Mike. Yeah. And not only that, what you gonna say now? Y'all was stuff carried out earlier. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. He like went away from Mike, so he's on a different mission. Mm -hmm. But if I had to pick somebody, a complete team, like I said, fuck yeah, him. Yeah, Denver is De crazy. Yo, yo, bro, you got Reggie Jackson getting no minutes off you the bench. You think Michael Porter Jr. gonna show up against Brown? Yes. Yeah, Michael, that's another thing. All you got to do, Michael Porter, is dunk on LeBron <laughs> and y'all gonna win it. Yo, listen, Michael Porter Jr., also, for people that don't know, like I said, me, that nigga's a legit 6'10". Yeah. I thought he was 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, he was 
the same height as Kevin Durant. That yeah. nigga's a legit 6'10". So, if I got to pick, I'm going to go with Denver. I'm yeah. rooting for Braun, but um, Denver looks tough. Yeah. On the East... I think I think the Lakers got a good chance unless Michael Porter dunk on them like he did KD. If he dunks on them like he did KD, they're going to win. So you betting the whole series <laughs> open for nigga dunks on a nigga. He said, yeah, <laughs> that's my answer. Yeah, that's, that's my <laughs> answer, you know? Because whenever somebody like that, Michael Porter Jr., gets aggressive with a star player, it just changes the whole morale. So you're saying that's momentum for them yeah. to win? They so, need that moment. So what if they down 30? What if he's is, down 30 and he dunk on them? <laughs> they down 30, but he dunks on them, then what? <laughs> next game is going to be turn up. What if it's game and they about to get eliminated? They down 3-2. Then they two. waited too late to dunk on them. <laughs> <laughs> I can go with that. I mean, I'm picking Denver, hoping the best for LeBron on the yeah. East. Boston should win, but playoff Jimmy's a real yeah. thing. That nigga, playoff Jimmy is a the, real that's thing. That's a real thing. I, I believe it now. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, come on, man, playoff Jimmy. Yeah, and, and they serious. And they beat Boston in the bubble. And he was hurt. Yeah, and he was hurt. And he went out there and still got it done. Right. I I, so back, I don't want to flip flop, but <laughs> Boston should win. But I, for some reason, I'm going to go with Miami. For some reason, I just think that you play. go with Miami I over just, Boston? Listen, it, I, the and Black I, Mass Assassin? And, and I shouldn't, but I don't know one player on a team tougher than Jimmy Butler. <laughs> Robin Hood. Who's Robin Hood? Jalen Brown. He's tougher. He's tougher than Jimmy Butler. No, he's not. I but he's with. gonna. He's he's gonna show up. I I got Jalen Brown showing up. He was there in the bubble. Yeah, he was. But <laughs> yeah. it, he's different. Now. Yeah, but I mean, everybody's grown. J- Jason different. Tatum different. Yeah, I was yeah. Gonna say. Jason Tatum is two time in a row first team or NBA. I like I like Miami too, but I'm 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 rooting for Jalen Brown. Is I'm gonna keep it on Everything says that Boston should win this yeah. series. Everything says that, mm-hmm. but sometime it ain't about the analytics and what niggas say. Yeah. It's just sometime a nigga like you got today is my day. Yeah, listen, look look at this, bro. I can't remember all the teams. Uh, the year Iverson went to the chip against the yeah. Lakers. But it was Iverson, Eric Snow. Yeah, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> yeah. McKee. Yeah, like, yo, come yeah. on. Iverson took niggas to the finals at six yeah. feet by himself. And I think, I'm not comparing Jimmy Butler to Iverson. It's two different things. But I think he has that Iverson heart. Mm-hmm. And also, yeah. you play for Pat Riley. Mm-hmm. Pat Riley know how to put the battery yeah. in your back paws when you a tough nigga. Yeah. So, Boston should win. You but I'm Jimmy Butler alone can beat Boston? Jimmy Butler beat the Greek freak in them double. He, yeah, he, yeah. yeah, he did. I got yeah. people calling me from Milwaukee yeah, right yeah. now. I said, how y'all feeling right now? They just like, right. it's crazy. Yeah, so right. he beat Giannis. And I'm not saying Giannis was 100%, but who's 100% when the playoffs yeah. start? None of that matters. Right. Okay. Well, respectfully, I want the Heat to win. I think Jimmy Butler is one of the best players, but we're going to touch a little bit on the Heat before we go back to the Lakers. So (laughs) Jason Tatum set the NBA record for the most points in Game 7 with 51 points versus the 76ers. But as we know, Mm -hmm. playoff Jimmy Butler is a thing. So final needs your stamped answer. Do you think that the Celtics will beat the Heat? Because all the odds are with them, but I need you guys' final answer. I'm I'm going with Boston. I'm going with the Heat. I think, oh, listen, Bo- and listen, one more time, Boston st- st- statistically, mm. pardon me, should win, but if Jimmy, and let me, let me put a, put a little, uh, whatever it's called on it, if Jimmy Butler doesn't get hurt. Yeah. Right. He disclaimer. Has to say, yeah, yeah, disclaimer. He has to stay healthy for the whole yeah. thing. That's yeah. what's going on. If he gets hurt, you could forget about this in five. Right, it's Jimmy Butler versus everybody yeah. at this yeah. point. Yeah. yeah, he needs his own T-shirt. Jimmy right. Butler <laughs> versus, versus, versus everybody. everybody. Yeah. That'd be a dope T-shirt. Yeah. I think they're trying to make it a Boston, L.A. thing. Now, that's what, you know, when I was in Vegas, I was yeah. in Vegas this past weekend, and that's what everybody wants to see. They say, yo, we want to see that classic shit, man. Yeah, Boston, Boston against versus the Lakers. LA. So. We see who got the most chips. You know they, you mm-hmm. know they in the in the sports book talk about it's seventeen a piece or eighteen seventeen. Whoever got the most titles, they're yeah. rounding it up like that. LA fans, so that'd be a good that'll one. That'll be a good. Okay. And then on the West, Dennis Schroeder basically gave his flowers to Draymond Green, saying um, that he had, had a lot of love for him. And so, he in response, from? he gave him his flowers, well, he like his flowers respect. From? <laughs> 
not literal flowers, like he gave him his flowers. Oh. Yeah. And so basically, in response, Draymond commented to Dennis Schroeder saying, much love and respect for you, bro. You changed the series. Go finish the job. So again, final answer. Do y'all agree with Draymond's comment for the Lakers beating Denver? Well, let's touch on before we give a final yeah. answer. I thought okay. you said Schroeder gave flowers to Draymond. No, like he did a post, like appreciation post for saying like, okay, Draymond. You know, that's the slang, give a nigga they flowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so basically... What he's saying is Dennis Schroeder gave Draymond his props, and Draymond was like, good looking, bro. You go finish the job. Pause. So what I take from that is What's the, the job? Basically go win the chip. So. How you going to send somebody to do something? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't get that. Like, <laughs> boy, go finish the job. <laughs> Nigga, you win the job. <laughs> That's a great point. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, what is that talking about? It's them that's going crazy. Listen, Draymond. Look, again, put the camera on me, Draymond. Listen, you blew this. You, you helped the Lakers win. You were working with LeBron from my point of view. You didn't want... Golden State to win it because you don't think you might be there long. I, that's what I think. That's what I'm thinking. He helped well, LeBron. Well, my thing is this. You said Draymond blew this. That's wow. First of all, yeah. that's the that ass wow. Yeah, okay. be professional. I'm trying. I, I, I stop. I let be you finish your, solilo your Please, soliloquy. I, I was quiet. I didn't say nothing. All right. <laughs> but I agree. I agree with Murder, of course. Listen, I get I get what Draymond was trying to say, and I get it, but he's basically saying, yo, go out and win. Now, what I would say about what Draymond said is this. If I lose, at least the team I lost to are the champs. Are the champs. Yeah. So I'll be like, yo, because if you lose and the niggas yeah. you lose to didn't even win, then who is you? Yeah, <laughs> you know what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah, but I totally agree like, uh, with murder, but at the same time, if I'm going to lose to somebody... I would rather lose to the people who won the championship. Yeah, I get that, because you don't want to be point. the person who lost to the one yeah, like, that didn't mm -hmm. win it, because yeah. then you're under that. Right. Yeah, now you like in fourth, fifth, you just trickling down. Pause. Yeah. On the whole thing. I say, I say, shit, yeah, what you, <laughs> yeah. you got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zach. Okay, okay Zach. That was, that was, every time that we was, film, I mean. That was super crazy, <laughs> Zach. You started to get it, Zach. <laughs> That's great, but yeah. I don't know. Like I said, uh, I ain't knocking Draymond for that, but I do get your point. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was I would a good think point. he would tell that to LeBron, not Schroeder. He ain't going to be responsible for that. I way I took it the way you said it is, you shouldn't tell nobody that you should have went <laughs> yeah. out there and got the job done. Exactly. That's how I was taking right. it. But if I am going to lose to somebody, at least I could say that we lost to the champion. So I get that. Right. But you made a point too, saying that you think he's helping LeBron. I'm I not going to say he's helping him. I'm not saying that, but I do see Draymond when his contract is up going to the Lakers. I have no knowledge of this or yeah. anything else. But I do him saying. Even in his podcast, he says something. He says something along those lines that just gave me L.A. vibes. Well, you know, he signed the clutch. LeBron did come to his wedding. See, this yeah. is what I have a problem yeah. with. It's, it's all collaborative. <laughs> it's hard to tell what's really going yeah, on. Can I fuck with you yeah. on the court? Because off the court, yeah. you're my man. Right. But he does. LeBron came to his wedding. They are, they are friends. He's always on... Uh, you know, whether it's LeBron's barbershop or anything else, and he signed the clutch. So it's Rich Paul maneuvering his way to get Draymond to finish his career in L.A. <laughs> with LeBron. That's a great question. I think LeBron just be making them put their shield down so he can stab them every year. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because listen, it, I think, like, I know Draymond has another year on the contract, if I believe, but I can definitely see him saying, the stuff because we did all we could do, my day, because I'm going to LA and figure this thing out, man. I don't know if that's a fact. Yeah, I think they're going to wake up one day and that, that meme is going to be Draymond face on the um, Wade um, meme that was there when LeBron left his house in Miami. I, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't see that one, but I think that's not too far fetched that Draymond will end up in LA. I don't know okay. that for a fact, but we'll see. Yeah, we will see. And then I got to ask. If the Lakers do win it all, are y'all going to be ready? I'm not even going to say y'all. Are you, that, Mace, 
Stab are you going to be ready to crown LeBron no. as the GOAT? I, see, listen. <laughs> I knew I knew you was going to do this. I had to come back around. I knew you were going to do this. So let me hear the question again. Tell okay. it to me one more if time. If the Lakers win it all, if they win it all, are you ready to crown LeBron as the goat? Why is it if I'm ready? <laughs> Why is it if I'm ready? You be LeBron badging all the time. <laughs> LeBron badging. <laughs> you Yo. Le- LeBron badger up the Yo, show you... all the time. How am I bashing LeBron? You always dissing LeBron on the no, show. No, I have high regards for LeBron, but it's just my, I'm an NBA purist. What does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? My views are pure. They're not tainted. So when I give a outlook, it's not tainted with friendships. <laughs> you know? It's not tainted. It's not tainted with hometown heroes. You you see you see what I'm saying out there in TV land? I'm not tainted, so my views are pure, you know? So when I hold LeBron in that light of of, of GOAT. As a purist, I don't give him that based upon what I know okay. as a purist. So as a purist, yes. you feel like his stats aren't enough? Let me, even, matter of fact. The even question, if, the question, wait, 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 like, wait. Like, even let me, if he... <laughs> that, I want to give you some stats. All right, say no more. Since you're a stat baby, right? <laughs> let me give you some stats. I knew y'all was going to pull this. I'm, I'm ready Who's today. Who's y'all? She asked the fucking question. Y'all, I didn't even answer the question Y'all together yet. on this. <laughs> On it. Yes, you are. Yo, bro, I didn't even answer the fucking now, question. Now, your question yet. is, will I be ready to make him go? All right? So we're talking about today, right? Today's go. I'm looking at the stats of the top five <laughs> in points in the playoffs. He's not there. Top five in assists. He's not there. Top five in three-pointers. He's not there. Top five in rebounds, he's not there. Top five in blocks, he's not there. Top five in steals, he's not there. So if he's not top five in any of the categories, why would I be talking about GOAT? So who would you put above him? Time out. Can I say something? <laughs> Yo, bro. Like, bro. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Yo, yeah. he's not top five this year in those categories, but we're talking about a body of work over 20 I years. I know, but you're saying, like, this year is going to change something. She said if he no, wins like, the championship. Yeah, this, this year. year. If so he I'm wins saying, this year, but would you, are you willing to crown him as the greatest of all time? No, and I'm telling you why, because... Wherever you can put an accolade, there's constantly something dangling right there that 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 wipes that away. Pause, but that you you get what I'm saying. It's a flaw. It's a major flaw there where you see something right. Can I answer the question? <laughs> this nigga. Okay. So my answer would be no. No, even if they win, it's a no. No. Okay. My answer is no too, but okay. he went somewhere else with the whole shit like. I'm just not putting niggas above Nike. Like, you niggas don't, if, you know, people are young enough and, I, and these YouTube videos uh, or highlights that you see are not actually putting you in the time when this shit was going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can sit there and go see some clips and be like, oh, Jordan did this and Jordan did that. You had to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying younger people don't get it, but Jordan, like, basically, like, look, who got the best sneaker today? It ain't was it because he was a stylish nigga. And no say the Jordans ain't hot, but right. yeah. that came right. with the play. You felt like you could score 30 when you wore them Jordans. I, I still do. I still feel like <laughs> I score 30 and no yeah. matter what sneakers I play in. You I'm was, saying, but the Jordans, back in the day, you put the, them Jordans on. I'm going to be honest with you. You know you better you. have a good game. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't play in my Jordans because them shits were too expensive. <laughs> I didn't want to fuck them up. Like, mm-hmm. I put my Jordans like fucking, you know, I remember my first pair of Jordans. I had to beg my grandparents for $100, and they was like, $100 pair of sneakers? You crazy? I'm like, now I got to go ask the drug dealers because mm-hmm. I'm getting the Jordans. You know what I'm saying? But... Four point minutes to go. I can't do that. What I will say, he's my number two pause for of all time. I'm not going with Mace's going with that with his stats for this year. But what I will say this year, stats don't matter. No, it matters. I'm not going to say they don't. But this is a stat that this is a stat that you did that you did ignore this year. Which one? 19 years straight 
This year, he made All-NBA. He's All-NBA third team this year. 19 years in a row he made. So besides his, rookie year, besides his rookie year, 19 years in a row being All-NBA is fucking bananas. Yeah. That's crazy. Bro. That's phenomenal. As a purist, I can acknowledge that. <laughs> thank, thank you for being a purist yeah. and seeing as my purist, vision is I pure. I can acknowledge that. So, as far as his stats this year, is he the best player in the NBA this year? No. I wouldn't say he's the best. Was it a time he ran that shit for a year? The nigga went to a championship in the Eastern Conference for 10 years straight. Mm -hmm. 10 years in a row. Then he takes a chance to come to the West Coast because everybody says that the West Coast is better than the East Coast. Yeah. Comes over here, wins a championship with the Lakers, Lakers whether it's an asterisk or not. You know how much, yeah, but you know how much pressure it is to even go to the Lakers? Like, that's mm -hmm. some shit I don't know if I would have did. You got to live up to Magic Johnson, mm -hmm. Kareem Abdul-Zabar, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, all these people, and then everybody sits there and say, LeBron ain't going to be a real Laker unless he wins a championship. Goes out and wins a championship, then people like Murder say, well, it was in the bubble. Then they have to fuck up year. No, if he win it this year, it's a real chip. I need a real chip in L.A., I'm I'm a LA fan since birth. This is this shit going left. <laughs> nigga, LA fan, this is wild, man. Yeah. Anyway, like I let me finish saying what I was saying. The nigga, he gets to LA. It's mad pressure on him. He wins a chip, whether it's an asterisk or bubble chip, whatever you want to call, call it cool. These niggas go under 500 most of the season this year. They come back after the All Star break make it to the play-in. They didn't even make it all the way to the official mm -hmm. playoffs, make it to the play-in, end up beating the defending chip. He beat John Morant in the first round, yeah. then end up beating beating uh, Golden State, the defending championship. Yeah. Now they're in the Western Conference Finals to so where people didn't even know if they was going to make the championship. So I'm not saying that for LeBron, this is a great stat where he's at because LeBron it has to equal championships for him but just because he's LeBron. But for them to be where they're at right now, considering the season that they started with, I think is good. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, they finished really. The, the team did very well, I think. Okay. Well, y'all let us know in the comments if the Lakers win, if you guys will be willing to crown LeBron your GOAT. With yeah. that, we'll be... Everybody under 25 is going <laughs> to say, yeah, man. It'll be, a, it'll be a good little debate in the comments, I think. But yeah. we'll see what y'all say. We'll be right back. topic of the Lakers, power forward Jared Vanderbilt is being called out. Someone from the store claimed he bought $2,000 worth of clothes, wore it to the tunnel and post game, then returned it. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Uh, what is that call when you do that? When you buy clothes and then you, you wear them and then you um, try to take them back. What bum is that ass call? nigga <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing else but Petty bum theft. Shit, it ain't really tough if you're taking it back. Yeah, I mean, what do they call it also? The name, I don't know the official name. What is it when you do low class robbery? Dang. Petty, petty theft. <laughs> petty theft. Yeah, it's yeah. Petty theft ass niggas, man. Where's this nigga from? I'm Googling where a nigga from behind this shit, man. What was the outfit he, he went out there? Did he buy it himself it. or did he send it in somebody to buy it? I think it he from? bought it himself because somebody from the store um, let him do the return and they were like. But isn't he supposed to be like a fashion guy trying to build yeah. his fashion brand? Well, no, like he's just trying to be like. Like a fly nigga, though. Yeah. He's from Houston. <laughs> yeah. Y'all did bad Houston. Yeah. <laughs> Houston did. been striking out yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, shout out to my niggas down in Houston. But listen, man. Yo, Jared, listen, man. Yeah. Come to the flea guy. <laughs> you won't get your money back, but I'll make sure that you get your shit together. And secondly, stop, stop embarrassing us black people like that, my nigga. You, you put in a whole 
bad stamp on the black yeah. community behind that shit because we known for shit like that. <laughs> yeah, but he's then the you reason get, they watch us and name it. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason. He got, he yeah, got people watching yeah, us and name it. He one of them niggas, let me guess it didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> he one of them niggas. Listen, man, just don't embarrass us Putting like that. Secondly, tape under the shoes. Second, you know, yeah, tape under the shoes. Tape shit. under the shoes so you can't but, get but dirt But the whole shit is this, though. That's a great question, which you ask, or you ask, who went for him? Because you six eight, nigga, you can't hide. I know you're not literally six eight, six nine, going to the store, playing. Wear it to the, you're on yeah. national TV in the tunnel. In the tunnel, do the press conference afterwards, and then go back to the store. And you don't even send a nigga to about. Yo, shit ain't work out. <laughs> hey, yo, nah, we putting you on blast. And then the lady blast, said, wait nigga. a minute, is this you? <laughs> yeah, this was you last night. Shit looked like it worked out fine. Jared, you get paid too much, man. Spend a little, little couple dollars on your wardrobe, my That's nigga. That's sad. Yeah, it is. That's really okay. sad. Also on the topic of younger, we'll say, sports stars, but not mm -hmm. really, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes' little brother, Jackson Mahomes, was arrested and charged with battery and three counts of aggravated assault after allegedly grabbing and forcibly kissing a woman three times. He also pushed a restaurant employee, and Mahomes is only 22 years old. What did he do again? He grabbed her he three grabbed a, times? He grabbed the woman. Or grabbed her once no, and he kissed got, her three times? I don't know how many times he kissed her, but I know he grabbed her, and he was charged with three counts of aggravated assault. My goodness. Where are the players when you need them? My thing is, there's a couple of things I have on this on this topic. <laughs> yeah. First of all, it's called entitlement. People feel entitled. Like, bitch, my brother runs the world. He's the best quarterback. <laughs> yeah, he ever, can't nigga. believe Shane. The letting fuck him is get you over. talking about? You have, dude. You watched the last five fucking AFC championships. Give me yeah. a kiss, bitch. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you, bitch? I'm on my home. Yo, look at my D, niggas. Look at my hair. I'm on my homes. Give me a kiss. What the fuck wrong with you? That's the entitlement. And I'm not promoting that. I'm just saying yeah. niggas' mentality who think they're yeah. entitled because they're somebody's family member or brother. And football's the number one sport in America. He's yeah. the number one nigga in football. Just won another motherfucking Super Bowl. Does it make it right? No. Nope. But as 17-year-old, he's bugging and he's going to think that. He doesn't know that that could cost him later on, but he just looks... Mm -hmm. I bet you pull out his ID 15 times a day. Yeah. Mahomes, bitch. He's living off the name. Ma Mahomes, bitch. And this goes kind of back to, it's, it's, it's nothing related to the job Moran situation, but it's also when family members yeah. will get, not necessarily get him in trouble, but if he cuts you off for a while yeah. and he'd be like, look, I can't be bothered with you, nigga. You know what I'm doing. I can't be around no sexual assault. Fuck, yeah, I look like I'm, crazy. The, I'm the number one nigga in football and you got a sexual assault charge? Talk to mom. And if she got a problem, my car, see y'all at Thanksgiving. Because I ain't got time to lose this motherfucking contract. Same thing with Andy Reid. They swept that shit under the rug. A couple years ago when they went to the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. Andy Reid's son, he's coaching, assistant coach on the Chiefs, was driving drunk and killed a three-year-old three days before the Super wow. Bowl. So he couldn't come to the Super Bowl. The case just gets sweeped under the rug. We ain't, nobody heard about it since. But Andy had to be like, I ain't... He said Where it politely. Where that happen at? It happened in Kansas City. That's crazy. So basically, he was like, you know, uh, we're not, he's dismissed from the team. Publicly, he cuts you off. But mm -hmm. who really knows? You got friends, yeah. politicians. Who? The more story, I never even felt that would happen. Shit got swept under the rug. But that's something to do some homework on. Family members, stop acting like you could throw touchdowns. Stop mm -hmm. acting like you could dunk the ball. Stop acting like you run fast. You are just a sibling that didn't make it yet or didn't make it at all. Yeah. Cut the shit out, my nigga. Because your last name is Mahomes don't mean you can run around grabbing yeah. ass, kissing bitches, or anything else you got going on. Yeah, that's crazy. Period. If, 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 if your brother can't do it, your brother Why can't do shit that. Do that. Why do you think you could do it, little I dumb motherfucker? It, I, I really think it's time to have tryouts. Yeah. It's time to have trials for your entourage, trials for your family, <laughs> yeah, all that. Yeah, for your it's friends. It's time to get new people yeah, around, new a, friends. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Yeah, I'm like having a, a trial. As a, as a skit, I need tryouts <laughs> for friends, my nigga. Because friends and family are the ones who will fuck you up more than anybody else. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody we've been talking about for the last two episodes is all the people around them. Facts. It's time to have trials. There you go. Yeah. Time to reevaluate a lot of things. But with that, we'll be right back. One eye, one heart, one love. Excuse me? 
after last night performance, we're gonna do this again? Yeah. Not tonight. I don't think so. And make sure you close the door behind you. When I tell the yeah. yeah, man. When I tell the yup yeah, man. When I tell the yup yeah, man. I'm Rico fucking strong. Took that horse power oh, and told oh, girl yeah. to get it up, get it up. Baby! Fast money, money, fresh shit, cash money, Moscow mule. I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, so this Saturday, May 20th, Lomachenko mm -hmm. is set to fight the undefeated boxing champ, Devin Haney. Do you think he will keep his title? I hope he does. Uh, I think he, Haney got the title? He got all of them. Yeah, I think he's going to win. I think Haney, he, he's, he's really good. Um, I just I, I, and listen, Lomachenko was in this conversation for a minute. It was it was Lomachenko, yeah. Haney, Shakur, and Tank. Now, what I will say about Lomachenko is this: he fucking left to go fight the war in the Ukraine. Yeah, that nigga when Russia and the Ukraine war broke out, yeah. he said fuck everything and, and went like he was in the field. He wasn't capping and nothing. This thing out in the army shit mm -hmm. with the president of the Ukraine with the gun and all that. And I'm like, yo. That's niggas who really, really love their country. So he put his whole boxing shit on pause to go fight with his country against Russia. So he gets some mad props from me. I think he Just, did that not to fight De Haney. That's some fucked up <laughs> shit, my <laughs> nigga. So you saying that nigga rather go get killed than fight a nigga in the ring. Yo, you was one, yeah. you were tough. You tough, yeah. you tough, yeah. man. You tough, I think man. He, I think he, 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 you he came tough. at you a convenient wild, time. You a wild nigga, You know man. stuff like that happens. I'm not, nah, I need to go get killed? By, I, not not get God, killed. Glad he did. A lot of niggas died. A lot of people died. So, no, I'm not making fun of no dying. No, 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 no. I'm saying when I, he put on the gear, mm -hmm. he knew they wasn't gonna put him front line. Yeah, I mean, he's and a, he preferred not to fight Haney. I'm not touching that, <laughs> but I will say, <laughs> anyway, he, he really did go and to the war. But like, I agree with you. He may not have been front line, but he went. Like, going's yeah, enough right. for me. Mm -hmm. But as far as him beating Haney, I don't know. He hasn't. He hasn't been in the ring long enough. Mm -hmm. Um. What's your man? He lost the homie. That nigga hit hard. Tia Fimo. He lost to Tia Fimo, and he looked really scared in that fight against Timo He looked yeah. like he didn't want to get hit. He didn't want to take that He guy. did not want to get yeah. hit. So his props went in the boxing world went down to me. Even though he moved up in weight to fight Tia, Tia Fimo, you knew you was moving up in weight. It yeah, wasn't no yeah, surprise. Yeah, it wasn't a surprise. So for you to be that scared and not get hit, he lost a lot of props to me. Plus, I've seen him get knocked down with a person in his weight mm -hmm. class before. He got up and, and beat his ass. But Lomachenko was, to me at the time, he was up there. Yeah. And I think because of his inactivity, he's moved down. But I think this is a good fight to get his name back. Will he win? I don't know. I think yeah. that you're better answer. Yeah, they was calling him the Matrix. He had superior footwork. His he was dancing speed. class and all types yeah, of shit. Yeah, he's always spinning around people, putting them in bad situations. But I think when he lost to Tiafimo because the way Tiafimo beat him with just establishing the jab and keeping him behind the jab, I don't know what he thinks Devin Haney is going to do. Right. That's the same, the same kind of fight that Devin Haney is going to fight, and Devin Haney will beat Tiafimo. So if he lost to him, he's probably going to lose to him. Okay. So who's going to win? I'm going with Haney. Okay. Not even a question. I'm going, I'm, I'll take Murder's opinion on this. Like okay. I said, it was just if a he, time. If he, if he, if he buzz Haney, 
like catch him clear. I don't know how Haney really responds to getting knocked down, but like any boxer, but if it's just on skill, I got Haney. Okay. So also to add to that, I mean, Cam just listed, you know, I think about two fights that he did lose. But when asked about the fight, Loma said, look, in my mind, I didn't lose any fight in professional boxing in my mind. Cap. So that's why I sleep very well. In my mind, I'm still undefeated. I just saw him in the church burning candles talking about when he lost, he found himself. And then he come out with this nonsense. Yeah. I was just rooting for you. <laughs> God damn, man. That's what happened with, with Lenny. Got, niggas be saying shit again. Ten seconds later, nigga be could get caught capping, my nigga. Yo, listen, man. Even in the internet age, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, my nigga. Like I said, he came in with like a nine and one record, so he yeah. lost early in his career, and then he lost to Tia Fimo, so he has two professional losses. Mm -hmm. But you, you lost. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Now, Floyd Mayweather could say in his mind, because that's a fact he never <laughs> lost. That's a fact. You lost, my nigga. But at the end of the day, I don't know what that's about, but yeah. he definitely have a couple losses. Yeah, what else is in his mind if he didn't? Yeah, anything could be in his motherfucking mind, yeah, nigga. Like, I could walk on water, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? That's in your mind? Yeah, do it. Yeah, but on look, what's in your mind and what's on the stats say two <laughs> losses, nigga. That's two different things. Your mind ain't on the stat sheet when niggas when niggas introduce you and be like, and from the Ukraine <laughs> with 37 wins and two, it don't and say two, zero. Two zero losses more. in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zero losses in his mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the analysis would, would be you know, hilarious that he had zero losses in his mind. Nah, that's now, a fact. They don't read it like now that. Now that I'm thinking about it, is a few boxes that have no losses in their mind. Yeah, that's a fact. I know a few came to mind when you said that. Right, exactly. Okay, well, and speaking of in his mind, we're going to move to Howard Stern because yes. in his mind, he says he was upset because black players ignore him at Knicks games. He said, the black players won't come over and say hello to me, but they go over to Spike Lee. I grew up in a black neighborhood, you know what I mean? I mean, they should know, but I get ignored. The nigga put nah mean after what he said. <laughs> he said, I grew up in a black neighborhood, nah mean. I know how I was dirty. <laughs> Say that. Nigga said, nah, Stan, me. Stan, where you get that from, <laughs> That's Stan. what he said. Nigga said, y'all yeah, grew up in the black neighborhood. said, nah, me. Nah, me. Fuckers, they told yeah, I grew up yeah. in the black neighborhood. I grew up in the black hood. <laughs> nah, Isn't me. that what people say when they cabin? Yeah, but. Like, I got these friends, or I grew yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got like, four. Yeah, I got four yeah, my, black friends. My mate is black. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that type of shit. Like, that dumb shit. Exactly. Look, let me tell you something, Howard Stern. I'm gonna look at you in this yeah. camera, Howard. I know who you are. Yeah. Murder knows who you yeah, are. Well, let me uh, even better. We love Howard this, Stern. But I don't give a fuck about Howard Stern. You can love him. I can care less about him. Let me ask that. Do you know who Howard Stern is over the bottom? What, what, what do you know him from? Well, I know that he does interviews now, and I think he was a judge on something. <laughs> she said you was a judge. <laughs> like on a game show or something like that. No. This is what I'm trying to, so back to what I was saying, Howard. Yeah. Mur me and Murder know who you are. People stab baby age think you a judge, my nigga. Yeah. So when you got these NBA players that come over and speak to Spike Lee, Spike Lee is almost, no disrespect to Spike, is almost like a, a mascot. Everybody yeah. knows that he's a Spike Lee fan. Yeah. Same thing like, like the gorilla at Phoenix. I ain't going to see the girl Spike and Gorilla. I wasn't Not gonna, a Gorilla, you but... Some, some yeah. real black exploitation shit you got going on. When I say yeah. that, he's a, yeah. a well-figured at Master Square Garden. Spike, we not calling you no Gorilla. We, we <laughs> said man, you said mascot. Well, I, used, I said... I, let me use a better word, because that yeah. was that. He's a well-known figure at Master Square Garden. Same way E-40's a well-known figure yes. at, at, um, at Golden, Golden State. State. So you may not know uh, Spike Lee's movies or anything like that, but you know he's a Nick fan if you're a younger person. Yeah. So what I'm telling you, Howard, is this. People know Spike not necessarily because his movies, because that nigga's front row every time. When when they mention the Knicks, they don't really bring you up. Now, keep in mind, everybody that's playing is 23, 24, 28, yeah. 29, 30. 
Like, <laughs> niggas don't know you. You got to reinvent yourself to do some shit to get young black people to know you, my yeah. nigga. Because all that grew up with black people, all they going to say, oh, you know my grandma. You, you ain't grow up with these black people that's playing on the court. <laughs> these are some different, this is a different generation. So you have to do something so the... The stat babies of the world don't think you a fucking judge, my nigga. Yeah. They don't know you. Yeah, I know she, you. She didn't know. Um, she didn't know Will Smith rap. I knew that. No, you. Yes, didn't. I did. You well, did. Well, my yes. son ain't know. But the point is, <laughs> why the fuck would nigga know how it's stirring if if you don't listen to talk radio and stuff like that? These kids, and not just kids. I don't know the last time I turned the radio on. Yeah. It's too much. I, uh, it's too many different things to listen to. You could listen to. Fucking Pandora or Tidal or fucking Apple Music or whatever you want to yeah. listen to. So why would they listen to you? So you have to do something to get people's attention and make and them want to. There you go, reinvent yourself. Mm -hmm. They don't know you, white nigga. <laughs> Just saying, say you grew up with all the black niggas you want, my nigga. They do not know you. If you did, it was their grandmother, and you probably was talking slick, nigga. Yeah, he definitely was talking crazy. Howard Stern had some of the wild nah, his, his shit was crazy. interviews. That's why I said we grew up loving Howard yeah, Stern. Yeah, nah, on some G shit, I yeah. fuck with Howard yeah. Stern. Howard Stern was one of them people. He was the first one that's, that I remember saying it, just how. Yeah, just absolutely. It. it was one of them shits where my grandmother wouldn't let me watch Howard Stern. Like, <laughs> turn that shit off because he would have girls with titties. He would curse. He would say whatever the fuck he wanted to say. What's it called? Shock radio. Yeah. He, had he was the first shock jock. Shock, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Move on. So, um, just, to touch on, just to touch on your point, because these are both really good points. <laughs> um, how you, and no disrespect to Howard Stern at all. <laughs> yeah. But like you were saying, like... <laughs> Damn, you gotta grow up. Yeah. You gotta grow up. You gotta grow up. Stat, come on, like, be professional. Basically, to touch on both of y'all's points, just yeah. so that's, they get it too. That's Jeezy and Bob doing that shit. I ain't even say nothing, man. Bob turned his back. He gonna turn his back. <laughs> Yeah, it's that, my bad. No, yeah. just because I want to touch on your point so they understand as well. Yes. Like you said, reinventing yourself in this day yeah. and age to like, okay, like, Will Smith, great yeah, example. Like, like we know what he does now. And even if you didn't, you, mm -hmm. you're watching what he does. You're going to go back and see what he did before so we know mm -hmm. the timeline and what he does. The, Howard Stern, it's kind of like. The best, exactly, I agree. Look, But the, no disrespect, but. <laughs> keep it professional. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Disrespect, nigga. <laughs> the best examples of reinventing themselves is and and just off the top of my brain, I I fucking watched Breaking Two and Ice T is the DJ. That came out like 1983. Ice Cube is yeah. not pardon me, Ice T, I apologize, was the DJ in that shit. I turned on a commercial this morning. Ice T's on the commercial. Yeah. And he's on Law and Order. <laughs> and he's in this movie. LL Cool J. Yep. He was in fucking Crush Groove in yeah. 1984. When I was fucking six or seven, eight years old, and now he's on CSI every day. And yeah. hosting the iHeartRadio Awards and stuff like right. that. And then you go Method back and man. you're like, oh, okay, right. I know Method these songs. Man. Like it yep. connects. Dr. Dre with beats. Like, yo, yeah. it's people who you constantly reinventing yourself. And it's not always what got you in the game, but at the end of the day, you use what got you in the game to brand off and do other mm -hmm. things. And if Howard Stern, if you got some headphones or some sneakers or some shit we don't know about, Hey, let the people know, because I don't know what else the fuck you do besides say you used to live next to black people and you was with murder culture. <laughs> yeah, and everybody's shocking now. Yeah, so. so. Okay, well, all good points. We'll be right back. Coldest thing about's toxic Four years and counting Got you feeling like an option Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She wanna be free Walk away. I, I wish somebody told me the rules. This 
disagreements let them win and it's cool when it's cool even when i'm right to say Welcome back. Okay, so we're going to switch over to football. Mm -hmm. Cam Newton last played for the Carolina Panthers in 2021. He claims his hairstyle may have kept him from being signed to an NFL team. He said people have hinted at his appearance and said, Cam, we want you to go back to the 2015 clean cut Cam. He countered with names of white quarterbacks who have long hair and still have jobs. When what name, did he say, do you got the names or you don't know? Uh, he didn't. All right, we'll get a, to yeah. it. <laughs> we know the names he's staying. <laughs> yeah. My opinion on that, listen, I'm a, I'm a Cam Newton fan. I wish he'd get back in the NFL. I, you know, once you're out, you're out. It's pretty hard. You ask yeah. Kaepernick, you ask Donovan McNabb. Once you're a yeah. black quarterback. Michael Vick. Yeah, when, Michael Vick. Once you're a black once quarterback, out. it's hard to get back. The one nigga from Seattle bounced back, Geno yeah. Gino Gino Smith. Did. But you have to be willing to be a backup quarterback to yeah. get a starting job. And I don't know if Cam personality is a backup quarterback personality not saying he wouldn't do it but as far as what i will say is this when you good it don't matter what you wear it yeah. don't matter what your hairstyle look like i think that cam was one of the not saying one of the first but he was such a dual threat because yes same way lamar jackson now could run with the ball pass mm -hmm. the ball that's the same thing cam newton was doing and he yeah. was cam, cam newton is a he's like six six two hundred yeah. you know he, he's a big guy pause I know you want to be petty. No, I'm not feeding it to. <laughs> I'm not just doing it. I, just, I know y'all think. I know it. No, yes. just go ahead. Be professional. Thank you. Thank you. All bro. right. But the moral story is, I think if you're good and you're accurate, I think a lot of people started questioning his accuracy throwing the ball. Mm -hmm. And when he got to New England, I don't think he got a fair shake because it was COVID. He caught COVID. Uh, he had Mac Jones in the background just coming out of college. I don't know, but I don't think it had nothing to do with this here. I just think if you're good, they're gonna you can wear what you want to wear and do what you want to do. I just think that your throwing was inaccurate and people picked up on it. But I'm rooting for you to get back. Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm rooting for him to get back. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm rooting for it. Do you think I it think was his hair though? I think his hair does play a part in it. I think the places he's gone, like when you go to that kind of facility and that kind of team, they're looking at your image. They already had Tom Brady. You coming in after Brady, you got your hair all crazy, and, and it's something black people got to pay attention to, you I, know? I you going after a clean-cut guy, you coming with your hair all wild, you're not producing, and when you're not producing and you look wild, <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> it's even crazier. Yeah. It's almost like John Moran after that, and then he jumps over somebody and fall, now he looks wild. It went from athletic to wild. Right. Right. Your image matters. It does. It does, but I actually kind of disagree. Because even in, like, NBA stands, okay, Jimmy Butler's done a lot of crazy, quote-unquote, crazy things mm -hmm. with his hair. Nobody's, I, like... I, like I said, me and Murder... <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't choke people. But but what I will say is that I agree with Murder to a certain extent, but back to my, my original statement was, mm -hmm. when you're good, it don't matter. Which you're right. When yeah. you're good, it don't matter. Let, let, let Patrick Mahomes have the same shit that fucking... Cam Newton got. He could, he's going to be able to wear whatever yeah, the hell he, he wants to wear. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they may come to him and be like, hey, man, we want to sponsor dreadlocks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's true. When you're, no, I'm saying that is true. But when it goes wrong, the yeah. look matters even more. Yeah. Right. That's just so frustrating. You get it what always, I'm saying? So gets... you're right in that sense. I agree with him. Yeah. When you're right, you could wear your hair in a bun seven feet high just with all dreadlocks. But when you... A car get pulled over and the gun is in it and you got locks like this, then everybody's looking at you like you're ignorant and you're a thug. And what you did say is about producing that matters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like like, you know, not not to you know, God bless the day, I'm just gonna bring it up because it's not like it's mm -hmm. it's a secret. When Kobe caught the rape case and not saying he raped the girl or anything, just when he caught yeah. the case. Kobe went out there had to ball his ass off. Yeah. Fucking Kobe's averaged about 72 points. Cause that's the year Kobe scored 81. Niggas like, yeah. I right, bet I'm gonna bust niggas ass since niggas trying yeah. to put. And not saying that that case was something to sweep under the rug or anything. I it got handled, got handled. But it got to the point where he was busting ass so much that you be like, well, when they gonna throw that shit out? Cause Kobe yeah. is needed. Let Kobe had averaged nine points with a rape case. Yeah. Yeah. Shit would have went yeah. to court. Mm-hmm. Thank. So it is about producing, and that, that is the reality. So I guess yeah. we'll just have to see what happens for him next because I don't and know. I want to put something on the record 
because we, we like to be accurate for the young athletes that are looking. The greats don't wear their hair like that. Just think about it. If you you don't see, Le, not that LeBron has the hair, but Michael Jordan, all of the people that are greats, they don't wear their hair like that. That's what I tell the youth. It's a, it's a new, it's a new generation. Mm -hmm. That nigga, what's his name, won't get this a Lamar Jackson shit nappy all that damn day. <laughs> nigga just got mm -hmm. 260 with the nappy shit. Yeah, that's true. Dumb nappy shit, 260, shit nappy. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that's the message to the youth. Uh, speaking of the youth, Ronnie James officially committed to USC. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, did y'all expect him to go there? I didn't expect him to go there, but I'm not surprised. I thought mm -hmm. he, I actually thought he was going to go to Ohio State. But I do. The, but at the end of the day, Pops is running the show, and he's monopolizing. He got a vision. Uh, we keep him home in California. Yeah. I'm, yes. in, I'm in the Lakers. We keep you in California. Mama Duke is here. My mom's here. Your brother's here. Stay the fuck here. You go to, I don't know the conversation, yeah. but I can imagine the conversation. What's my son's role here? Yeah. Is he starting? Is he getting is he 17 starting? shots a yeah. game? Is it going to be a problem if yeah. he goes five for 26? Mm -hmm. We need to know all this because we have a bigger plan. And who else is coming here? Right, exactly. But I think he's on a one-year plan anyway, no yeah. matter where he went, because like I said, LeBron wants to play against or with his son either way. So I think it's great. I think that that's the one thing I say he's goaded on. Yeah. Michael Jordan wish yeah. he had this blueprint with his sons. <laughs> Mike, yeah. this is the blueprint yeah. Michael yeah, Jordan, what he wanted with his sons. Michael Jordan's sons ain't paying out. LeBron James, because yeah. I like Bryce too. Yeah, I yeah. like I like Bronny and, and and Bryce to do well. I think the the situation is perfect. They're pairing him with Isaiah Collier. Remember the guard that I said was before him? No, who was that? He's he was the number one player with Dewan Wagner. They okay. they kept going DJ Wagner, they kept going back and forth out of um Atlanta, Georgia. Right. I didn't know about that. Yeah, so, so yeah. they putting it, they're pairing him up, and Dennis Rodman Jr. is coming there. Mm. So yeah, all the part, nice. oh, they got they got the pops talking. All the fathers yeah. putting this shit together. Yeah, everybody talking. These kids don't even know what the hell they going. <laughs> in. They all shit yeah, is set so up. There is going to be a perfect perfect school for Bronny. I, I only see them having trouble with K Kentucky. That'll be a yeah. great game. Be That's the game to watch. Yeah. Well, also to touch on Cam's point, and kind of like you said, just about being in California, mm -hmm. we've talked a lot about how ath young athletes are acting yeah. to keep them in California. I'm sure LeBron's going to make sure Bronny's tightened up. If he's out of state and were to do anything crazy, like it would be a lot harder yeah. to kind of have that grasp. But he can he can check on him, make sure he's coming home. Yeah, and make it's sure he's great good. that they're so, going to USC, so see? he's going to actually be going to school in the hood. Yeah, the whole shit is Bronny already got caught smoking weed one time on, yeah, on the yeah. game. Bron, like, I wish you would get out yeah. of state. You yeah. were staying here because yeah. obviously you can't be trusted by yeah. yourself. <laughs> that, Ohio that, State would have been crazy. Yeah, yeah. Living in that big house and going to college. That's, listen, what, that's what I'm it'd saying. It would have been like, party he, central. He listen, doing. man, I lived, Ron in, did his thing. I lived in Columbus, man. That kid would have ran that whole town, man. That's a good yeah. Keep him home and keep him grounded till we get to that real bad. Right. Yeah. Real smart. That good decision. Really good. good decision smart by decision. LeBron. Right. Yeah. Well, that's all we have for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Let us your thought. Let us know your thoughts by hashtagging it is what it is talk on Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. And with that, stay tuned for the next episode. Nigga. Everything nigga super size, super size. Two big max Like when they doing them two for five